Hello and a warm welcome to your program, Citizens Voice. We are here again to talk and to share. As part of uh, the lockdown, children are at home. Their academic uh, uh, calendar has been disrupted, but uh, it's necessary to keep them healthy. So they are at home. And we know that while at home, they are encouraged to at least undertake some studies, read their books, you know, don't just play around and so on and so forth. Now, even the state government, talking about Lagos State, put some plans, you know, in place where the children could learn or be taught online while they stay at home. We want to ask this morning, is that working for you? In your family, are your children taking advantage of those plans? As a parent, are you making sure that the children are involved? Do you see any sign of learning at all in your family by the children? Some of the things we want to talk about today is citizen's voice. And remember, you are free too to drop any other comments you want on this program. I have in the studio here Taiwo Ololade Salvador. She's an educationist and she's the brain behind an NGO, TOS Educational. Welcome to our program. Thank you. So you are going to help us as a specialist to look at this program, you know, of uh, learning put together by government, uh, see how it's working and appraise it, and then um, see if there are advantages in it or not. If there are disadvantages too, you will let us know. But for you watching at home, please you call us. Tell us how you are coping with the lockdown in your family, in your family. Uh, maybe you want to talk about the side effects. It's welcome, but mainly, the learning opportunities your children have. Is there anything happening in that aspect at all? We'd like you to share with us. So, Madam, you're welcome. Thank you. As we said, the, the government put a plan in place yes. that while they're at home, instead of just whiling away the time yes. and maybe getting involved in mischievous activities, they could learn. Uh, what's your appraisal of that system arranged, uh, put in place by the government? Well, first of all, I want to thank the Lagos State Government, the Ministry of Education, for coming out with this plan. Because at the beginning of this pandemic thing, we kind of lost. And the sectors, which is the educational sectors, being closed is huge to us. A lot of children, school is their means of life, Monday through Friday. When they go to school, this is where they have happiness. So. Coming to this right now, closing of the program, I mean the schools, is it's affecting a lot of children. So being, having this um, measure in place can engage them, put them, engage their mind. So, so far, so good. We haven't heard so much from the parents, which I would like for them to talk about the program, if it's working for them. If it's not working for them, what else can the government do? And also for us, what else can we do? Okay, so um, th th this arrangement covers the government schools. Does it affect the private too? It covers all schools. So any student can take yes. part in the... It covers every school, every school age, from primary school to secondary schools. Mm, primary school? Yes. They have different stage and mm. different days for different subjects. Okay. So the parents have to go into the registration, which is Wasobia, turn in from certain time mm. to certain time. For the sake of the children, please turn in mm. to this channel for them. It, it looks laudable, I mean, from the plan, but uh, let's face reality. Yeah. Do you see the children really tuning in to radio stations to listen to, because it's, one has not been part of their lifestyle, no. you know. Do you see that happening? Well, this is a new life for mm. us. It's totally different from the way we've been doing things over my 50 years plus now. This is the first time. Mm. It's, this is the first time for these. It has to be a first time for other things. And as a parent, as a parent, we need 
to change some things for them. This is going to be the new norms now. Maybe a lot of schools are now going to be doing online. Mm. They've been doing it in the other developed country, but maybe it's something now that we have to fast forward to start doing. I think it would be easier to uh, effect the online uh, plan yeah. than the radio or TV plan. Don't you think so? With our children, looking at the way, you know, uh, they, they, they they, they, they use technology and even the parents who are supposed to enforce that I don't know how many parents listen to radio except in their cars hmm. so now to ask your child please tune in to this station there's something on going on there. I'm talking of possibilities practicalities practicality yes it comes to down to the parents yeah parenting have to step up now this is something that they have to adapt to mm. you're gonna have to sit down with him or her this is the thing that you have to do Sometimes even if you have to bribe them to sit down, listen to this. Bring out your book. These are the chapters. Chapter one, they even give them homework. These are the things that you have to do. Okay, Johnny, you have to do this from this time to this time before you can do this. We're going to have to be strict now. Mm. I know they now reduced the radio. Many of them don't even know any radio station. Yes. Except to look at the online and listen to music. Yeah. But this is a new thing for us. Mm. And as a parent, we have to step up our game. We have to, if we have to bribe them, I'm not saying bribe them with whatever, if you have to lure them to listen to this program. The program is in, it put in place by the government for them, free. Do they have online facilities too? Online, online facilities, they're working on it. Not yet in place? I'm not quite sure with that right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. but I think it's something that we can get into. Okay. Online class. Please call us, uh, share with us as a parent, uh, as a child, as a student, call, tell us what your experience is in that area. Are you making any effort at all? Is it working for you? Are you tuning into the programs, you know, arranged by government on radio or TV? Tell us what your experience is. Parents, please share with us. Uh, if you have something else, you know, arising from the lockdown in your family that is happening, you want to share with us too. The numbers are on your screen now, so call and uh, share with us. Tell it the way it is, but please mind your language. That's all we ask. Don't insult anybody or any institution in the process. Okay? So call us, tell us, share with us. Uh, maybe some challenges you are going through that uh, make it impossible for you to ask your children to, you know, study. You want to share with us. All happening in your family as a result of the lockdown, but specifically about the learning opportunities put in place by the government. What are your children doing now? Maybe you want to share that with us. What do they do on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Do you monitor mm -hmm. them? Tell us how you are coping with the children sitting with you at home 24 hours as it is. Share this with us, please, and let others learn too. Uh, the numbers are on your screen. Call either and uh, share with us. Okay. Um, it's going to involve a change of lifestyle, if you ask me, because yes. as I said, many of the parents themselves are mm. not used to those uh, okay. outlets we're talking about. <laughs> so to even get them to get their children to tune is a problem. Um, but as you say, it's a learning process and it's, it's about the change we're talking about. Yes. Uh, somebody has to start something new sometime, somewhere. Um, do you see the academic calendar being changed or reversed somehow? after uh, COVID-19 because the timetable is already affected. Yes. I don't see the government or the Minister of Education taking this period as part of the mainstream. Uh, this is as to assume that they've covered a lot while on holiday or while at home. I don't see them doing that. So are we going to go back? Are we going to rewind in the calendar, in the syllabus? For us as an um, NGO also, yes. this thing took us by surprise. Mm and I'm sure for them too, we didn't have anything planned. We didn't have any structure in place for this kind of a situation. Yeah. All over the world, I'm sure that I don't want to talk about the other world, we want to talk about Nigeria right now. We have to change a lot of things. This period, I'm not sure it's going to be calculated into the curriculum, yeah. but to move forward with the curriculum, that is why the program is set up so they don't be left behind. Okay. So if parents can understand that this, let's just say they were going to use it as a, this is a curriculum. Mm. Okay, you have a schedule in school. Monday through Friday, you do math, science, English, and whatever, whatnot. Pick up at each day, 
Monday, we are going to tackle English. Mm. Tuesday, we are going to tackle this. Yes, yeah, some parents might not be able to teach their children, I'm yeah. telling you, but yeah. please, call somebody. Talk to your child. Explain this period to them. Mm. They need to know exactly what's going on. Don't just say, okay, sit down there, watch cartoon, watch this, watch that. No, sit them down, explain to them. They're part of this program. They're part of this problem. We all in, in need together. So if we want something for them to go forward, we need to include them. So by sitting down, talking to them, explaining things to them, and give them a schedule, and I'm sure they will do it. Mm. They will do it. So this curriculum, if it's going to be part of it, I'm sure Lagos State will come out with something that will suit for all the students and to also move them forward, not backward. Okay, but obviously it's going to be driven by parents because they are the ones majority who get right the children, now. majority of Majority right well, Larry, now. Well, we're still expecting your calls. Please call us now. The number's on your screen. Call us and tell us what you are going through in your family uh, with special regard mm. to your children. How are they learning? Are they learning at all? Mm. Or you, you just find the situation helpless? Tell us, share your experience with us. Or what do you advise? What would you suggest? Because we don't know exactly how long this will last. We don't know when they will call off the lockdown. Mm. But um, we are managing, we are coping in the interim. So share with us what you think uh, the government should even do. Maybe the current system is not working from your own experience. Do you it's have something you else you want to suggest instead? Share with us the numbers on your screen. Call us now and share with us. Tell us what you are going through in your family uh, because of the lockdown, mm -hmm. especially with the children who are with you now. Um, you, as you said, if you look at your own time and my own time, uh, parents had very strong roles to play in the education of their children. Yeah. When we come back from school, mm -hmm. they will ask questions. What did you do? They will even ask so for your books to yes. see whether you are doing something. Now, that has gone today. You can't blame them so much, as people say, because uh, they are at work too. Mm. So they come <laughs> back 9 p.m. and they're thinking of the next day. And so there's a lot of gap. Um, uh, do you think this uh, lockdown will help bring back some of those old qualities? I'm saying that um, COVID-19, mm is the beginning of a new era for us. It's a pandemic that's bringing us backward in terms of communication, okay. in terms of family value, in terms of life. Another thing is added into it now that we're not used to mm. isolation, social distancing. We're not used to that. Yeah. We are the kind of person that we, I mean, people, we like to Mix. Mingle, touch yes. each other. That's right. They say touching is good, but yeah, these are new things that's coming to us now. This is going to, if we cannot use this period to perfect those things that I just mentioned, which is communication among us with our children, with our family, new way of doing things, business, what else do we have to take out of this? Yes, it's going to take us back. Mm if used right, take us back to that time that you and I grew up, that our parents are on top of our education, on top of our behavior. Yeah. Now, a lot of people are knowing their children. Somebody called me the other day. He said, oh, well, I, I don't know, I have five kids. I said, what do you mean? She said, I woke up and I see everybody <laughs> in my house and I'm looking, I'm like, this is different. So he said, he's just sat down and he was just looking at all of them, different behavior, different attitude, and he was like, yay, they me by me. <laughs> and this is what this is going to bring back to yeah. us, family life, family value. So we can use this period to add value to ourselves, to our children, to our life, mm. and to our business. This has to change. Things have to change now. Okay. We're still expecting your calls. Um, I, I can't say why the calls are not coming in. You have three lines there. Just dial mm -hmm. any and talk to us. Share with us your experiences. Well, uh, maybe you want to add something that will interest you. If you have received the, uh, the, the food items or the palliatives we hear uh, going around, please share with us too. Tell us what you received and uh, how you received or where you received them. Uh, maybe that will help us. Um, talk to us. Talk to us. Anything that have happened you know, to the family, to your family this time, uh, share with us, share with us. We are looking at learning for the children. How is it going? Is it working at all in your family? Um, and we can add, 
are you have you shared have you gotten any of the palliatives we hear some places people are scrambling and they you know struggling to get something um we don't know what they are getting we don't know who it is but you, you maybe you want to tell us uh, what did you get if you did uh, if you didn't why what did you not get uh, there's a social hello? register over here okay we have a citizen Florisha calling from the hello Lake. hello uh, Florisha you're welcome hello hello i can hear you Florisha you're welcome double we can hear you God, we're not really watching in a good voice of the people. Go on, go on. First of all, I want to commend the government, the Lagos State government, for what they've been doing so far concerning the COVID-19 mm. pandemic. Then, secondly, <laughs> concerning the children, yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. Just like the guest of the studio said, Seeing them, uh, I'm the kind that will stop stay earlier, earlier and speak to be so I can to get to the office. Mm -hmm. Come back late, 10 to 11. Mm -hmm. So maybe need to cut time for them on Sunday. But still, yes, you know, having them for a whole week or two weeks now, yeah. it's, it's like a thing. <laughs> you keep shouting, stop, do this, don't do that. No, sometimes the my boy looks me like that is harsh. Mm. That is that is never raise his voice like this. You know, I don't know. I I mostly push them to their mom because they spend time more with their mom. Mm. So I I've gone around the estate. I've see. I've tried to see if I can see um maybe where children can like play. Or have these um, lessons, but it's not happening. I don't know if the government can permit, even if it's 20, 20 kids. You know, so their brain will not go to start the mission from what they've known before. Mm. Okay, because now you have to pick up their exercise or their textbook and do a review with them. It's all be like their teachers that they will say for months and I did not um, do it well because now we face more difficult acts in the office than what so and I don't I understand I don't like them really to the TV much mm. watching cartoons or movies mm. so I don't know I don't know the elements or if the government can cut this off by next week, promising so that they can go back to school. Oh. Or allow us to have a gathering in our estate 2020 with a precaution measure putting fit and hygiene, the hygienic um, basin. That's all I just ask for. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Holon Show from Lekki. Uh, obviously, he, he doesn't know about this program we're talking about now. You have the stations? Wazobia FM. Wazobia FM. And, and Niger FM. And Niger mm -hmm. FM. Those are radio stations. Yes. Okay. Those are radio stations. But I think there's something on TV. On TV also. Because I've watched a mathematics lesson on TV. Uh, well, I don't know whether it's government sponsored now okay. or so, but I know uh, there are tutorials, you know, on TV teaching about uh, teaching mathematics. I, I watched one last week. Uh, so, uh, for our show, the government has put something in place already. Um, tutorials, have it? Yes. For 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 students on holiday at home. Uh, Wasobi FM, Started but we don't have the time. Monday. To, Monday. Monday to Friday. Okay. I think it starts from ten. Okay. Monday to Friday, different subjects. They, as a parent also, mm. we need to, I'm so sorry about one thing. Mm. You see, copy and paste. Me, I'm tired. Okay. If you're not copy and paste, what can move me forward? Mm. Disease from my phone. Okay. Parents need to start searching for information that can guide with them with their uh, children. Okay. Not this, the pandemic is in Guinea Coy, is in mm -hmm. Europe, is mm -hmm. the, it's already here. Let's deal with what is on ground. Let's deal with what can move our, our children forward, ourselves. 
things are changing. And there are learning sites. There is the so much learning site on there. the internet also. Yeah. Schedule the time. Sit down. Prepare like, okay, you are going to be the principal for this school. Give them a task. Give them a schedule. Uh, or like you wake up so and so time. This is what you do. Just like you are in a normal setting. Mm. You disregard the isolation that, okay, this is, think like you are on an everyday uh, task. Monday, this is what time you get up. This is so, so and so you do from so, so and so to so, so and so. Let's, like I said before, parent has to step up. Yeah. Don't be tired. Don't be stressed out. There's so much information out there that can help you. Mm. Google it. Find it. See what can help you and your family. Each house is different thing. So see what can suit your, per your home and get this kid engaged. That is the thing. If you have a dictionary, okay, A to Z, I'm sure they will, they will thank you. Mm. Give them A on Monday. After that, tell them to write all the words in a sentence, Monday through Friday. I'm sure they will like you. I'm sure they will listen to you. They might hate you for now, but later they will, uh, they will uh, appreciate you. Yeah. So we have to give them different things. Like I said, different home, different mm. task, yeah. different technique. Create a technique for you. Yes, a lot of parents go to work Monday to Friday, sometimes Saturday, 9 to 5. A lot of them don't even see the activities of these children. Yeah. That has to change. I beg you, parents, that has to change. Use this period to create something that can engage you, you and your children together. Yes, because you're paying the school fee doesn't mean it's all. Mm. You have to be part of the program. I'm very passionate about this. We have to set up a schedule, look around, sit down, talk to your, you and your wife, your children, create something that will work for them. Get them engaged. That will elevate all the stress. I can sense the stress from him. Yeah. He's tired. Yeah. See? I'm screaming, I'm screaming, they're yelling, I'm looking at them. But you have to give them something to do. As a mother now, maybe, maybe you can set them up in the kitchen. Teach mm -hmm. them how to do this. Mm -hmm. Write it out for them. Let them uh, study the, the, the recipe. Or tell them to come up with a new recipe. Like I said on my uh, YouTube, you can write a letter. Start writing a letter on Monday. Write something to daddy, to mommy. Mommy, write to the kids. Don't open it. Maybe on Saturday, you guys can all sit down and start reading it out. You have to come up with a new technique. It has to take you a have lot to of change. attitudinal change. It has to. Because they're not used to that pattern. There's anymore. no sports. There's no OMB. Yes. There's no whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh, I know you can do it. Okay. And you have to tell us something that will work for yeah, you. Yes, so let something new come out from this uh, lockdown. Something positive. Yes. Let it come out in your yes. family. You, yes. And you are the one to initiate it, especially the parents. Okay, we're still expecting your call. I'm surprised that we've just had only one call from Florence Show. Um, I was told many people were waiting to call. Please, mm. uh, let's have your calls. Call, tell us what you are going through, how it's working in your family. You heard the following show. And uh, can you, you said uh, Wazobia FM and Wazobia uh, FM and Niger FM. FM. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the stations the where you can tune in. You said from ten. From ten. Yes, they're, they're learning, you know, channels created by government now. But you can check if I'm wrong with the, the with the time. With time. Please Google it or go under the uh, Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. Lagos Ministry of Education is on their Twitter. Okay. Is on their Instagram. It's all over. Okay. Check information about school that can help you on this site. Okay. Call, right. I mean, check them. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any number there. Mm. Or start tuning into all these different radio and see which one is on, which one is not. There's some private paid program that you can check. Or call some teachers. Some teachers are doing something online now and also on WhatsApp. See if your school teachers are doing something. Call them if you're at a loss or you don't know what to do. Mm. Communicate with your teachers. Communicate with the school authority and see what is going on within that they can explain to you. And he was talking about uh, government aligned them do something there. I think the, 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 the guideline is don't be more than 20 in a gathering. Yes. So I think they, they can do that. They can do that. If they have some um, children, they can coach, but maintaining some social distance, yes, why not? It's not against the <laughs> law. The law says don't be more than 20 yeah, in a gathering. I, I'm not going to support that for no, now. Why? why? Let them tell us if it's conducive for us to do that. Mm. We don't want to just act on that right now. Mm. If the government tells us or the Ministry of Health or NDC, NCDC mm. says, okay, we can actually have this. 
And when you say 20, children, mm. even five, they're touching each other every minute. Okay. We don't know the, 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 the <laughs> power of this thing. Okay. We don't know the effect of this thing. Mm. The social distance they tell us to do is to create... At least three feet apart. Or so, so minimize the yes. spread. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have 20 children mm -hmm. in a class, yeah. okay, we set up one in my 12, one in <laughs> my one, and stuff like that. And tell me that they're not going to interact children. Mm. I don't think so. Okay, so that's if the risk problem. Some estates that I was talking to, what they did is they set up a WhatsApp group okay. for the students in their estates. Okay. Some, some of them have teachers, so the teachers are the one now talking teaching them and stuff like that. They will ask questions and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I'm not sure if other estate or you can create a group that you can be a teacher's group or whatever, what it not, that your children can communicate with mm. or do things with. Like I said, we're in a new age. We have to do a lot of different things and start trying. Yeah. If we can try, we can find the answer. That is true. Okay. Uh, the numbers are still there. We've not received uh, more than one call. Um, have you received any of the palliatives mm -hmm. going around? Did food come to your family? Did you share? Um, if not, tell us something else. Uh, the schools, or learning rather, for your children. Mm -hmm. How is it going? How is it going? Uh, are they just wasting their time or you're engaging them? Tell us how you're engaging your children. And she talked about even teaching them some something in the kitchen, how to cook, how to prepare this way for the... Not just for the female, everybody, both the male and the female. Yes, why not? Tell us what new things are happening in your family that are good because of the lockdown. What are your children learning? Even yourself, what are you learning from your children? Because some of us don't stay with our children. So mm. what have you learned? What have you discovered about your children during this lockdown? You can share all that with us. Um, uh, I hear in uh, some local government areas, they are sharing some food items. Uh, is it the government now or the local government or individuals? I hear some individuals are doing that. Uh, the government is also doing that. Mm. We want to hear from you. Tell us your experiences during this lockdown in your family in your family what are you going through okay tell us what uh Falonche has just called from lecky we want more calls um three lines are open please call and share with us we are talking of doing things new you mm -hmm. know during this lockdown which is fundamental you've also agreed that it will require attitudinal change but it's not easy. I see a situation where we go through this lockdown, that's when it's over, and some parents will say, oh, thank God it's over, and they jump back again <laughs> to their old style. Is that not a possibility? Oh, yeah, that's 100% possibility. 100% <laughs> possibility because a lot of people are just using this period as, okay, isolation, okay, mm. let me just do it. I can't wait to go back to work. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to do this. You have to step back a minute. Yeah, you can't wait to go back to work. You can't wait to go back to do this and that. Change of attitude. Change of behavior. What do you want to change? Because if it's not uh, coronavirus, it might be something else that's coming. Yeah. Or it might be something else that's going on. We have to look inward and see what you and I, we ourselves can now change about the whole situation in moving forward. What can we do? Like I said before, communication is, are you using this period to communicate very well with your spouse, with your friend, with your significant other, with your children? Education, they said, is very paramount. And it's going to take a lot from all sectors, from all stakeholders to change this attitude of us. We can't just go back to whatever. It's mm. not going to be business as usual. as usual. Something has to change. A lot of job is going to be going down the drain. A lot of property is going to be... Uh, when companies change, when companies uh, retrench, properties lose value. Yeah. What are we going to change? What are you doing now that you want to change after this pandemic? We need to start thinking about it now. Okay. Especially our elders, people over 60s, people over 70s, I would like for them to call because we need to hear from them. We need something from them. They might not be able to use TV or whatever right now. I'm sure a lot of them have questions. Mm. 
Just like the children have questions, yes. the older have questions. We that are in between, we should be able to bridge that communication, explain to them. Okay, we have a citizen, uh, a Bali, calling from Sundare. Calling from Sundare. Good morning. Good morning, Abali. Can you yeah. the volume of your I citizen? want to appreciate you for your job. Your TV set, can you bring it down the volume, please? It's disturbing what you're saying. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Or okay. better, thank you. Yes. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Go on. I can hear you. Okay. So I said I want to appreciate you for the job you are doing. Thank you. Yes, it's good. But I want you to advise our leaders concerning this lockdown. They didn't plan it very well because asking people to stay at home without any support, without any encouragement, is difficult. Yesterday, I was hearing about, I heard over the news that they arrested some commercial forces and other people who were going out to search for what they will eat. Mm. If they have made appropriate arrangements and provision for people, all this will not happen. Though it's for our good for people to stay at home, not to spread this virus, but they should make provisions for people. If it's during election, they will locate people in their houses. Mm. Now that people are dying, they are pretending not to know their houses again. So please, Tell them to come out from their shell and meet people in their houses to support them. Thank you. Okay. When you talk of support now, uh, you are talking of maybe food items? Because you can't be talking of money, are you? Oh, a bali is gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's talking of... Uh, if you use the election... Okay, there's a point there. The, the, the politicians come to your house or they come to see you, yes, because of the election. So he's now saying they should do the same thing. <laughs> How do you see that working? Like I said earlier, <laughs> this pandemic mm. happens suddenly. Yeah. A lot of countries are doing, uh, dealing with it. Mm. We, even gonna, we have to commend the Lagos State government yeah. for everything they've done in the short period. Mm. And all the donors that supported the government also, this short period. This is the one of a kind of this, yeah. act, I mean, uh, period. Mm. It's not a common period. It has never period, happened yes. to us. I'm just, I saw something online, people were saying something happened in 18 something, something happened in uh, 19, 19 something. Yes. Okay, fine. Influenza, yeah. We here, we don't have the measure in place mm. for such things. Right. And this one, for them to say, okay, this is the only solution we can use now. You can see what happened in, in France or in other countries, that they didn't take this serious, the isolation yeah. measure seriously. And you see what happened. Look at New York. They didn't take it seriously. Yeah. We are able to tackle it right away. We don't even know what we're doing, but we know that, okay, this is what we have to do. And we are doing it. So... A lot of things is going to come from the government, I'm mm. sure. Mm. They are not sitting down. They are not sleeping. They are working inwardly right now to see what they can bring out mm. for the citizen. I'm sure no country will want the citizen to just rot in a home without food yeah. and stuff like that. So also the, the food issue, check in your local government. See what they are doing for the, they have something for the widow, they have something for the elderly. See what your local government is doing. If you are familiar with your local government, maybe you will be able to get some news mm. from them yeah. and what they're sharing, how they're sharing it. If it's not reaching you, you, you should be able to have somebody you can communicate with. So, and also for us, whoever can, as a private person, whoever can help the other one, please do help. A lot is on us, yeah. not just the government. We'll all have to help each other and move this thing forward. Okay. So again, we have a few minutes to go. If you have uh, shared in the palliative, you've gotten something from government, mm -hmm. any assistance at all, share with us. We'd like to hear how it happened. 
so that others can learn to how to go about it. Uh, I know one of the challenges they have is the uh, method of distribution. Who do you give to? But I know they say they have a register of the elderly, yeah. the, 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 the people who are dependent, the widows, as mm -hmm. you say. They already the have handicap. that, so they may be reaching out to them. But the, 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 the issue is that while reaching out to those people, uh, others will see. And that's where the rush or the confusion will come. I, I don't know how they manage that. That's why we wanted to hear from you, as well as those who have benefited, how it happened. Maybe they called you up and say, come to this place mm. and take Pick this up. or something. Or did they come house to house? Uh, there's a local government I heard that they had trailers of uh, rice. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the trailer was outside. And I, I can just imagine the, the scene how people will rush and scramble for that. Anyway, we are talking of uh, you in your family and your children. We've agreed that uh, uh, we're going to shift, we're going to make some changes in yes. our lifestyle yes. if we must cope with the situation. But the important thing is also for us to endeavor to, 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 to do something new and positive in our family using this time. You know, let it not just come and go. Mm. Why not say, okay, after the coronavirus, we would have establish something in our family that will now become a way of life for us. I think that would be wonderful. So let it not go just go like that. Those of us who are waiting for the time to elapse and we we'll run back mm. to where we are coming from, please just think again and say, why don't I do something new? Why don't I develop something new in my family? So uh, 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 your last words for our viewers today. What will be your advice as we're about to leave now? Pandemic, COVID-19 is here. Yeah. We are all in it together. I'm sure we all pray that this period will go over and we can come back into our normal lives. But being normal life is not going to be normal again. Mm -hmm. We all need to understand that. For moving forward from this, Attitude change, communication, way of doing business, interaction is going to be totally different. A lot of business that surrounded all these are going to be affected. If you're one of them, I think this is the time you need to restructure, replan, repackage yourself, and see what you can do. I'm sure people in, uh, in uh, a Greek farming and food industry are going to try. People in uh, social media internet are going to try. Other business will be affected. What do you want to do? That should be the goal right now. That should be the question that we should be asking ourselves right now. How else, how better can I change the life around me and within me? Okay. So moving forward from COVID-19, we need to restructure. And being restructured, going to start from home. And it is all possible. In yes. the words of uh, Wayne Dyer, within you is the divine capacity mm -hmm. to manifest and attract all that you need or desire. I believe so. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, Taiwo Loladi Salvador, an educationist and the brain behind the NGO TOS Educational. Thank you for coming Thank on Citizen so Voice. Thank you so much. That's about this that they're not like this like most of us, we are I'm I don't have husband, I don't have anything. And the way they make this thing, we're not even prepared for anything. There is no to for us, it's not here. So we are hungry, we don't know, let the government help us and look into the situation for us. Okay, Justina, okay. thank you for calling. You are running off our program for today. Uh, you are complaining. But I think uh, Mushi is in the last shadow from what I saw. Mm. Uh, the areas are going to go around. Uh, Mushi is one of the last places of call uh, for distribution. Um, um, I, I can't remember the primary school, but there are two primary schools named there. Uh, named there. Uh, one is um, right behind the Ladikpo Road. I think I know that school. Uh, so they, they plan to visit your area too. Um, just uh, watch out, watch out. It cannot be a hidden thing, I'm sure, because if they are using a primary school, then of course it will be open. So just watch out, uh, Citizen Justina, and I'm sure if you're a widow, as you say, uh, you're going to get something from the uh, government. Thank you all for watching. It's been a wonderful time. Um, we hope to be here again same time next week, God willing. Brighten up the face with some smiles, and if you see someone without any, give him one of yours.
Bye bye now.